Hi, welcome to this Corp Maths video on SIRDs. In this video, we're going to look at how to add and subtract SIRDs. This video is focused for students that are studying beyond GCSE, so it could be AS Maths or Level 2 Forever Maths or GCSE Forever Maths or Additional Maths or whatever course it may be called, but it's just sort of taking the knowledge of addition and subtraction just a little bit beyond the GCSE level. So here we've got root 18 plus root 32. Now, before you watch this video, I highly recommend you watch uh, in an introduction to SIRDs on the GCSE section on Corporate Maths and also adding and subtracting SIRDs there. But I'm just going to do a bit of a recap as well. So, whenever you are adding thirds, there's no rule to just add thirds. Some students think if we add root 18 plus root 32, it's going to be root 50. Test it on your calculator, it's definitely not. Okay. The rules of thirds, or the laws of thirds, are root A times root B is equal to root AB. So you can multiply thirds together. So if you had the square root of 2 times the square root of 3, that would be the square root of 6. You can divide thirds. So if you had root A over root b that would be equal to the square root of a over b also if you were to multiply third by itself so if you have root a times root a that's going to be equal to a because remember a times a is a squared and then when you square root that you would just be given a so for instance root 3 times root 3 is equal to 3 they're the important rules that you need to know. Also, how to simplify thirds. For instance, if I had root 18, if I had root 18, I could say, well, root 18, uh, to simplify a surge, you think of what the biggest square number is that's a factor of that number. So if I had root 18, the biggest square number that's a factor of 18 would be 9. So that would be equal to root 9 times root 2. Really looking at this rule, splitting up the root 18 into root 9 times root 2. The square root of 9 is 3, so that would be 3 root 2. So if you typed root 18 into your calculator and press equals, it would probably come up with 3 root 2. So instead of root 18, I'm going to write 3 root 2 instead of root 18. Now, root 32, let's simplify that. We're going to look for the biggest square number that's a factor of 32, and that's going to be 16. So it's going to be 16 times root 2, splitting up the third. And the square root of 16 is 4, so that's 4 times root 2, which is 4 root 2. So root 32 is 4 root 2. And now we can just add them. If we've got 3 root 2s plus 4 root 2s, that's going to be 7 lots of root 2. So that's going to be equal to 7 root 2. So if you added root 18 plus root 32 in your calculator, it should hopefully come up with 7 root 2. And that's how you do it without a calculator. Okay, let's have a look at our next example now. So our next example says simplify root 147, subtract root 27, and give our answer in the form a root b, where a and b are integers or whole numbers to be found. So whenever we're doing a question like this, the first step is to simplify the thirds, the root 147 and the root 27. And that can actually be the hardest part. So whenever I'm doing a question like this, I tend to start with the smaller number, the root 27. And the reason to do that is it might help me out, and I'll show you how later on. So root 27, let's, so let's think of our square numbers, so our square numbers. Let's look for the largest one that's a factor of 27. So 25, no. 16, no. 9, yes. 9 times 3 is 27. So I'm going to write root 27 as root 9 times root 3. And the square root of 9 is 3, so that's going to be 3 root 3. So root 27 is 3 root 3. Now our next step is to simplify root 147. Now I have to say, I must confess, I don't know the factors of 147 off by heart. So I'm going to have to look at this, this list, um, but then I'm going to show you a little shortcut. So 144, no. 121, no. 100, no. 81, well 81 plus 81 is 162, so no. Okay, so 64 is not going to be a factor of 147 because 64 is even. And obviously that means then all the multiples of 64 are even. 49, well 49 plus 49 is 98, plus another 49 is 147. So 49 is the largest square number that is a factor of 147. So 100, root 147 would be the same as root 49 times by root 3. And the square root of 49 is 7, so it's 7 root 3. Now that finding of 49 being a factor of 147 could be quite tricky. So the shortcut that I would use sometimes is to simplify this, the smaller one first to get 3 root 3. Because you know that the answer is in the form a root b, you know that they're going to have the same third part, the same root 3. So that because you know it's going to be root 3, you can divide the 147 by 3. And when you do that, you get 49. So you know that it's going to be root 49 times root 3. And that might help you just simplify the larger thirds a bit quicker. OK, um, and now we're going to work this out by subtracting. So 7 root 3s take away 3 root 3s. Well, 7 root 3s minus 3 root 3s would be 4 lots of root 3. And that's it. And that's in the form a root b.
Okay, our next question. So our next question says simplify 7 root 20 plus 4 root 45 and we're to give our answer in the form a root b where a and b are introduced to be found. So first of all, this question is a little bit different than the previous ones because we have got numbers in front of the thirds. It's 7 root 20 and 4 root 45. So let's start off with the 7 root 20. Well, I'm just going to put my 7 at the front and put my simplify my root 20 and put that in a bracket. So root 20, the biggest square number that goes into 20 is 4, so it's going to be root 4 multiplied by root 5. And now we're going to simplify that, so it's going to be 2 root 5. And we've got 7 lots of it. Now, to work out what 7 lots of 2 root 5 is, we could just do 7 times 2. And 7 times 2 is 14. So that's 14 lots of root 5. So 7 root 20, if you type that in your calculator and press equals, it would display 14 root 5. Now we're going to simplify our 4 root 45. So we're going to have 4 and then bracket, and the largest square number that's a factor of 45 is 9, so it's going to be root 9 times root 5, or again we could have used the shortcut and we, well, we knew we were dealing with root 5, so we could have just divided root 45 by 5 and got 9, so we would know it would be root 9 times root 5. And then, well the square root of 9 is 3, so that's 3 root 5, and now we need to work out what 4 lots of 3 root 5 would be. Well, if we had three lots of root 5, another three lots of root 5, another three lots of root 5, and another three lots of root 5, if we added those all up, we would get 12 lots of root 5. And now we just need to add these together. If we had 14 lots of root 5 and we added on 12 lots of root 5, that would be 26 lots of root 5. And that's it. Okay, let's have a look at our second last question now. Our second last question. The question says simplify root 75, subtract root 12, plus 3 lots of root 48. And we're to give our answer in the form a root b, where a and b are introduced to be found. So let's simplify these. So root 75, well the largest square number that's a factor of 75 is 25, so that's root 25 times root 3, and that would be 5 root 3. Next, root 12, well that's going to be 4 times 3, so that's going to be the square root of 4 times the square root of 3, which is 2 root 3. And again, because we know it's a root b, we know the b is equal to 3 here. And also, um, let's simplify 3 root 48. Well, the largest square number, so factor of 48 will be 16, and 16 times 3 is 48. So it's going to be 3 lots of root 16 times root 3. So that's going to be 3 lots of 4 root 3. And 3 lots of 4 root 3 would be 12 root 3. And now we just need to work out what our answer would be. So we would have 5 root 3 subtract 2 root 3 plus 12 root 3. And if we have 5 lots of root 3, subtract 2 lots of root 3, that would be 3 lots of root 3. And if we added 12 lots of root 3, that would be 15 lots of root 3. So just working from left to right. So our answer would be 15 root 3. Okay, let's have a look at our last question now. And I really like this question. The question says find x, and we've got root 200 plus root 98 equals the square root of 242 plus the square root of x, and we've got to find this number x. So let's simplify these to begin with, or, and actually let's work out the left-hand side. So the left-hand side to begin with, well, that's going to be root 100 times root 2. That's quite nice to root 200 because 100 is a square number, obviously, and it's a factor of 200. Uh, so it's going to be 10 root 2. And then we've got root 98. Well, obviously, we've got root 2s here. So we're thinking 2 times something, 2 times 49. So we've got root 49 times root 2. And the square root of 49 is 7. So it's going to be plus 7 root 2. And 10 root 2 plus 7 root 2 would be equal to 17 root 2. On the right hand side, we have got the square root of one, uh, 242. Well, knowing our square numbers, um, well, obviously we're dealing with root 2s here, so we could think of what half of 242 would be, and that would be 121, which is great because that's 11 squared. So let's use that. So it's going to be the square root of 121 times the square root of 2. And that would give us, well, the square root of 121 is 11, so it's 11 root 2 plus root x. So we've got here that 17 root 2 is equal to 11 root 2 plus root x. Okay, so like with any equation, we want to get x on its own, so let's get rid of this 11 root 2. So let's subtract 11 root 2 from both sides. Well, 17 root 2, take away 11 root 2, well, that's going to be 6 root 2. 
and that's equal to root x. Now we want to find out what x is and what we can do here is we can just write this as, a, as simple as a single third. So sort of the reverse of simplifying a third. So if we square 6 that's going to be the square root of 36 times the square root of 2 is equal to the square root of x. So likewise, whenever we're simplifying thirds, whenever, for instance, here, when we had root 100 times root 2, we square rooted 100 to get 10 and then root 2. So we're working backwards here. So we've squared the 6 to get 36 times root 2. And then times these two together, root 36 times root 2 would be root 72 equals root x. So then x has to be equal to 72. And that's it.